All manufactured objects around you begin life as a design. Whether it's your sunglasses, watch, phone, or even trombone, the idea of its inception started out on paper. In order to choose the most suitable material for a specific object to be made from, we need to know what the design requirements are. Firstly, it's function. What is it designed to do? Secondly, it's constraints. The criteria which the material must satisfy. For example, it must be a certain stiffness. Thirdly, it's objectives. What is it designed to be? For example, lightweight. Let's take a look at car exhausts. High performance car exhausts are often coated with a thermally insulating material. We translate this factor into its function. It must insulate the exhaust, i.e. have a low thermal diffusivity, constraint, the maximum operating temperature, and objective, the cost must remain low. All other parameters are free variables. We screen all possible materials in CES EDUPAC, entering the limits on a graph with cost and thermal diffusivity on the axes. By entering the maximum operating temperature required by the constraint, we can eliminate a large group of materials. But what do we do from here? Performance of the finished product is determined by a combination of functional requirements, material properties and geometric parameters. The optimal design is the selection of the material or geometry that maximises P. In the majority of cases, these parameters are separable and the equation can be written as this. When this happens, the optimal material choice becomes independent of F and G leaving M, the material index. We derive the material index by considering the function, constraint and objective. From these, we can create an equation given here, 1 over the thermal diffusivity multiplied by the cost. Maximising this means we have a minimum thermal diffusivity and minimum cost. Therefore M equals the specific heat capacity multiplied by the density all over the thermal conductivity multiplied by the cost. This forms the equation for a line. The line has a fixed gradient and can be superimposed on the graph obtained earlier. It can be moved, eliminating more candidate materials until a small selection remains, ideally situated in the bottom left-hand corner in this example, with minimum thermal diffusivity for minimum cost. All materials that lie on the line are of equal performance. In this case, the most suitable materials are ceramics. Let's take a look at another example, bulletproof vests. They need a high impact toughness to absorb the energy of a bullet and a low density so the wearer is not significantly weighed down. We return to CES EDUPAC with this function, constraint and objective and derive the material performance index. In this case, we want to maximise the toughness and minimise the density, leading us to this equation. We then apply the line to the graph and make our selection. As you can see here, polyaramids, one of which is Kevlar, are the most commonly used bulletproof materials. After the number of materials has been whittled down to a select few, one can be chosen by seeking the appropriate documentation for that material. By deriving the material performance index and minimising or maximising the result, we can fit a line to the plot of desired properties, allowing the ideal material for any application to be chosen.